Hey YouTube, this is uh, Sunset again. Um, I'm doing a video on uh, actually on how to change a tire. Well, not a tire. Actually, two tires on my uh, Vantage XSmart 52. So I'll uh, take the wheels apart. Uh, this is my Vantage right now. As you can tell, it's pretty dirty. Mm, got grass everywhere. Got crap all up in there. Uh, I just actually just came back from a job, so uh, that's why it's all like caked up and stuff. All right, well, this is my Vantage. These are the two new tires that I just ordered from Amazon. Uh, they're the Kindas. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they're the stock ones. And then these ones are also Kindas, I think. Yeah. And they're 10... Oh, I can't read the label on it, but uh, if you look right here, uh, the shade's a little bit better. So, they're Kenda Super Turf. Uh, let's see what size they are. They're 20 by 10 by 8. They also have a, a 8.5. Um, I noticed that it's actually on the higher end uh, X marks. They use a 10.5. Um, pretty much just means that the the wall of this is a little bit wider uh, by 0.5 so you're going to have a little bit more squishier feel uh, the deck's going to sit a little bit higher so uh, the reason I got these new tires is that the treads I notice when I'm on the right side uh, these treads are actually slipping um, I look at the tread it doesn't look too bad but when you compare it side by side, uh, there's a big difference. Uh, so I'm gonna definitely uh, replace these. It's gonna be a little, my first time replacing it. Uh, see, that's the tire and the hub and everything. So I'm gonna take that apart, bust the rim out, probably clean the rim and paint it white again, make it look good again. Or I'll, I'll see what happens. Whatever paint I have. But uh, yeah, so this is my Vantage. Bought it used. Bought it from a fleet. Um, but it's great. It wor works really well. I'm very surprised. Um, good thing about that, it has a full mulch kit. Oops, sorry. Uh, so there's the plate. Mulch kit. Three blades. All fully decked out. Uh, another cool thing is that it has a rack for your... Uh, for your trimmer, it's an actual trimmer rack. So these guys actually did commercial properties, and that's all they specialized in. So you know, they uh, they built these racks, so then you can put your trimmer right in there, so you could just coast around. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I really love this mower. Um, once this mower is going to be caked, who knows when? Um, but once it does, I'm going to definitely buy, save up, and get a new one. Uh, it's worth every single penny. Um, it's better than my turf tracer over there. Uh, it's just it cuts better. Um, it's easier to maneuver around. Um, you know, you ha you have the advantage of a walk behind, but it does cost almost uh, one third more. But well worth it. Definitely well worth it. So right now I'm going to be taking out one wheel. And then once I figure out how to take it out, I'll videotape on how to actually take off the rim and take off the tire and swap it out. Uh, the tools I got, oops, I don't have it, but I have a valve remover. Um, I'm going to use that, get these tires. Uh, I heard on some other websites that you leave them in the sun, they're going to heat up and then hopefully... Uh, they'd be more pliable and easier to move, so that's why I have them in the in the light right there. Uh, the UV lights are going to help, hopefully, soften up the rubber. And then you also use uh, dishwasher soap uh, to slip it on. Uh, it, instead of you know using a bead seal, you can just use dishwasher soap. Put it around the beads. Helps uh, sit the bead inside the rim, and then also getting the rim back onto the tire. All right, so my beautiful Vantage, um, pretty cool. I'll also do a review on this Vantage, but you know, I just want to show you. Bam! 
No more sulkies, man. No more, no more random stuff in your sulkies. It's awesome. You can go reverse, do your K turns. No more scuffing. No more scuffing your tires when you're not doing K turns. So this is great because you're just on it. You don't have to worry about backing up or twisting your ankle on the sulky. Um, definitely love this machine. Every worth every cent. Use new, I'll buy it again, over and over. All right, so there's other ways of taking the tires off. I actually went out to Harbor Freight, got this uh, tire changer. Uh, this one's actually a pretty big one. Um, it's meant for any uh, wheels sizes uh, eight inches or larger. Uh, you can change like your trailer wheels, things like that. Um, I'm not sure you can actually change those wheels, those casters in the front. Um, but there's ways of uh, getting those beads off without using this stand. Uh, but I figure, you know, I'm not gonna mess up my hands. I've seen a lot of people try and take off tires. The screwdriver goes right into the lit arm. You know, it's messy. So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna go out there, spend 40 bucks, get myself a portable tire changer. Great investment. It's, you know, it's gonna cost you at least sixty-five dollars, you know, to bring them to the shop and have them do it. But I figure if I pop a tire or anything, I'll patch up the right way. Um, you know, you don't want to use those uh, rope trimmers. I mean, the rope uh, patches. Hold on one second. Let's see what we have. That's my little Mikasa. All right, sorry about that. I just want to show you what tools I'll be using. Um, good thing about this is that it comes with a tire iron, um, so to remove the tires and the beads, that actually has one side here, and then you have the hook side right here. It's great. So once I figure out how to use it, I'm going to videotape the second part when I take off the second wheel. Um, this is the other kit I got. I always carry a kit. You never know when you need this. Luckily I didn't, knock on wood. But it comes with a lot of accessories and stuff. So, see, those are the plugs for emergencies. You can just plug it up. These are the tools to plug the hole with. You just shove it in the hole and pull it back out. And then it'll plug it temporary. Uh, these are the patches that you want to use, actually. These round ones. But you actually have to take the tire off in order to get these patches inside the, the tire. Um, it comes with rubber cement. You know, this is the stuff you use for your bicycle inner tubes. Same idea. Um, but this, these patches last longer and better. Um, these little patches here, they're not that great. Um, a lot of people just use these. Um, I don't have time to mess around. If I have a flat, I use that. And then when I come home, I'm going to really patch up the correct way and not worry about inflating my tires all the time. So here it goes nothing. Um, if you guys are interested, stay tuned for part two of... Changing a tire on Advantage, uh, 20, 10, 8 tires, and uh, I'll be back.